subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos so let me show you the problem that i am facing if i copy any folder or file let's say this one if i go and open my local disk e and if i paste that file i'm going to get this error message you need permission to perform this action and if i press on try again the error is same so in this video i'm going to show you how you can resolve this problem if you are unable to copy or paste any file onto your local disk partition so let's begin the video first of all you are going to right click on your local disk which you have the problem go to properties you're going to press on the security tab and here you can see that uh, for this particular drive we do not have full control because there is no tick mark here we're going to select the user that is showing in the groups or username list and then we're going to press on the edit button so in your case under permissions for user if it is allowing you to check box the full control or modify option then you can just simply check it press on ok and press the file and it should work but in my case you can see that all of these options are locked if you have the same problem then continue with this video press on ok we're going to press on advanced now what we are going to do is basically change the owner so in this case you can see that the owner is administrator we are going to change the owner from the administrator to the actual user of this desktop so that he can actually make changes to this drive which means copying and pasting data we are going to press on change button right here and here it says enter the object name to select so basically we need to enter the username of this pc for this we are going to use windows powershell so in the windows search bar you are going to type windows powershell and make sure that you run it as an administrator here you are going to type this simple command you are going to type the dollar sign then we are going to type env semicolon username no spaces are needed press on enter and it's going to show the username of this pc you're going to go back and you're going to type the same username here press on check names so it should show only one name which you see right here in my case it's osman we're going to press on ok and here on the top you can see that the owner name has changed from administrator to osman now what we're going to do is we're going to select or check mark this box saying replace owner on sub containers and objects uh, make sure that you select it because if you don't then you're going to have problems in the future after that we're going to press on apply do you have permission to read the contents of directory etc do you want to replace the uh, directory so we're just simply going to press on the yes button so that we can become the owner of the e drive if you just have taken ownership of this object you will need to close and reopen this object properties meaning that you're going to close all the windows tab and you're going to open them again press on ok again and we're going to close all of these windows i'm going to open my pc and now i'm going to right click go to properties again go to security and now you can see the user has been changed now if i press on the edit button and now you can see that the full control boxes or check boxes are now enabled and i'm going to enable them after that i'm going to press on the apply button press on ok ok again now if i copy any file like that file again from my desktop to the e drive the error message should not pop up and you can see that there is no error message showing and the file has pasted successfully so yeah guys in this way you can solve the problem that if you're having the error message you need permission to perform this action if you guys like this video like share subscribe if you have any other questions write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and as always stay safe